my name's Lorenzo, people call me Cabin Fruit, and I have been alone in the woods for 650 plus days, working on my mental health through DIY projects, through isolation, through failures, and I finally decided to come on here and do long format videos. Life is hard. Life is hard, and there isn't that much space for people who are different or unique. And unfortunately, we live in a society where we are taught that we have limitations. We are taught that imagination needs to be reeled in. We're taught that we need to be uh, susceptible to capitalism and its trappings and what success looks like. And the reality is, is that I had built this amazing life. I had thought I had previously overcome my mental health issues, my trauma, my lack of a support system, and I built a really amazing life. And then very quickly, I had a series of events that happened almost simultaneously, and I got compounded grief. It shook up my whole world, and after a year and a half of trying to get myself together, I finally decided that I needed to do something extreme. I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to move closer to nature. I wanted to spend time in nature. I wanted to work on projects. I wanted to spend time with my dog, who's almost 16. I wanted to learn about plants and birds and bees, the birds and the bees, and and really find myself and recenter and reground. And boy, oh boy, it has been a journey. Isolation is hard. Projects on a budget are not easy. I mess up a lot. I'm still anxious when it comes to using the table saw. And while some folks might know me from my short little video clips on other places, I'm excited to finally get into the nitty gritty and talk about various aspects of cabin life and cabin living. I wanna talk about mental health. I wanna talk about failure. I wanna talk about ways in which I experiment on a computer before I make a decision to create something or to start a project. I wanna talk about decision fatigue, how I've been waffling on projects for over a year and still haven't decided what to do with a wall or with a curtain or a fabric. And really, the main takeaway is that I want everybody who feels like an outsider, who feels like a weirdo, who feels like they don't have the skill sets, I want you to know that there's space for everybody and you being, say, highly sensitive is actually your superpower. You owe it to yourself to determine what your life narrative is. And I know we all succumb to it, but I myself personally have spent a lot of time, a lot of time with the narrative that I have made a lot of mistakes and I've failed and I'm a broken person and I've hurt all my relationships and, and I have this habit of turning things on on me. And sometimes I am responsible and sometimes I'm not, but my, recept, my reception of when I am and when I am not is definitely off, off, off kilter. When you're in a bad place, it's also hard to make decisions. And I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about learning about nature. I'm gonna talk about beating yourself up. I'm gonna talk about having lofty goals because if you told me on day one, what do you think you would have accomplished in two years? I guarantee I would have told you I've got crop, I've learned to sew, I've been dyeing all my clothing. And all I can say is I've dabbled a little bit in almost everything, but I've had a hard time committing because I just have not been healed yet. And so this is a re this is an actively participatory experience. I'm gonna let you into my little bubble, and I hope that I hope that I can inspire you to to be your best self and to to do the work. I have a robot, a little robot thing that's recording me, so I'm, I'm literally here alone. And People will say to me, you're living my dream. And I always say to them, you should dream bigger. And also, if this was your dream, I'm really sorry because this wasn't my dream. I'm gonna be 36 soon and I'm working on my issues still and I'm single and I always wanted to be a dad and I don't know what the future holds for me. And this isn't 20 acres, I have one acre and I'm on a hill and I don't have the money or the resources to build and do a lot of the projects that I want. So this isn't really the dream and I'm kind of here to bring down the third wall and, and share it on YouTube with you all. I'm grateful and I have so much gratitude for this place that I am in my life, but I wouldn't wish, I wouldn't wish the history that got me here on anybody. And I'll share that over time. I'll share in detail, you know, just what it is that makes somebody feel like they need to do something this big. The long and short of it is that sometimes in life you have big problems and you need to make a big change. You need to find a big solution. And I made the big change, I had the big problems, and I'm working on the solution. So come along for the ride, please subscribe and like. I don't know too much about how this place works, but I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out. And um, 
I just want you to know that you're important. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.